Curious about what honey has to do with the treatment of dry eye? Well, in today's video, I'm talking about a very specific type of honey called Manuka honey and its use in the treatment and management of dry eye and blepharitis. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. You've made it to Eye School with me, Dr. D. Today's lesson is on Manuka honey. Before we get started, this channel is all about eye education and I love seeing you guys interacting with each other in the comments as well as asking me questions. I do try to get back to you guys as often as I possibly can, so leave me a comment below. And if you found this video because you were searching for information on dry eye syndrome, I actually have a whole playlist on home remedies for dry eye, a whole dry eye playlist, so make sure to check those out because you will undoubtedly find something useful there. So in general, let's talk a little bit about honey. Honey is a super saturated solution of sugars with an acidic pH, high osmolarity, and low water content. These properties and characteristics inhibit the growth of microorganisms, so its use in blepharitis specifically makes sense. Now, you can check out my video on blepharitis where I talk about the biofilm and what happens on the eyelid margin, but it does make sense to po possibly use a honey in blepharitis. Now, Manuka honey is a type of honey native to New Zealand. So, Manuka honey is produced by bees that pollinate the flower Leptospermum scoparium, commonly known as the Manuka bush. Manuka honey's antibacterial properties are said to set it apart from traditional honey. Methylglyoxal is its active ingredient and likely responsible for these antibacterial effects. Additionally, Manuka honey has antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant benefits. In fact, it's been traditionally used for wound healing, soothing sore throats, preventing tooth decay, and improving digestive issues. So one company has made a commercial preparation of Manuka honey, and you can find it as Optimel. And Optimel comes in both eye drops as well as an ointment type of formula. And each of those can be applied directly to the eye or the eyelids on a daily basis to help with the um, overpopulation of demodex mites, um, lids that have a large amount of blepharitis or biofilm on them. And this is definitely one of these at-home treatments that you can try as part of your meibomian gland dysfunction and blepharitis care in addition to dry eye care. So I'd like to know if you've tried Manuka honey in your at-home remedies for dry eye. Let me know if you've used it, if it's worked, um, and if you'd recommend it to others as well. I hope that helped a little bit with understanding what Manuka honey is and why it would be used in dry eye. Make sure to leave your questions down below. That's it for today's iSchool lesson. Class is dismissed.